Hello. I've got the privilege today of coming on to just really encourage you and to thank you for the way that you have been taking care of one another in this season. I read a brilliant quote on Facebook last week that said that the church has not been closed, but it's been deployed. And I think that perfectly sums up the way that we've been trying to act as one church at this time. As I've been thinking about that, I've been reminded of the passage in 1 Corinthians 12 that describes the church as the body of Christ. It describes how each part has its own individual role to play. But as one part of the body hurts, the rest of the body hurts with it. And as one part of the body rejoices, the rest of the body rejoices with it. And I want to encourage you today that whatever part it is that you are playing, that part is really significant and really important. So for some of us who are well and healthy, that might mean that we're able to go out and do some shopping or pick up prescriptions for people who are vulnerable. For others, it might mean that you're able to make phone calls to someone who might otherwise be really lonely at this time and just have a chat with them. And if you're at home, perhaps you are just daily lifting our One Church key workers up in prayer. And whatever it is that you're doing, whatever role you're playing, we want to really thank you for doing it and encourage you to keep on doing it. I've heard of some really creative ways that people have been encouraging one another at this time. So I heard last week about some grandparents who were desperately missing their grandchildren. So their grandchildren went to their grandparents' front lawn and they did a dance show for them that their grandparents could watch through the safety of their window. I thought that was just a beautiful way to show love. I've also heard about people who've just waited on God and have felt really prompted to give financially to someone that they knew. And as a result of that, they have just been able to share the love of Jesus and the person who's been the receiver of that giving has been able to then give to someone else. And that's just really the church in action. I also want to thank you for the donations we've received for the food bank. We put an appeal out last week for the food bank who are working really hard in this difficult time to keep up with the demand. And last week we were able to collect from your doorsteps 10 enormous bags full of donations and a really significant financial donation for the food bank. So thank you for that. That really blessed and encouraged the Food Bank team. Some of you are volunteering for us as official buddies, and we really want to thank you for that. If you're doing that, we've created this week for you some little posters that you can put up in the front of your car that just shows that you are doing essential journeys for prescriptions and food for the vulnerable. So we're going to email these out to you, but if you would like a paper copy, please let me know and I'll pop one in the post. Also just want to draw your attention to a Dover District Council-backed initiative called Together for Dover. Together for Dover has been set up by many different agencies in the town to help our most vulnerable people at this time. So if you know of someone who doesn't have family or friends and maybe isn't connected to us at One Church but is in desperate need of some help, then you can point them in the direction of Together for Dover. The phone number is just here. And at One Church, we're really backing this initiative we're supporting them with some administration and we're supporting them by answering the phones. And some of our congregation are also actively supporting them in the community by giving people lifts to appointments and dropping food at their doors and that kind of thing. So if you'd like any more information about that, then please do get in touch. You can still contact the church office in all the usual ways. So we're available on email and our phone number is also still active and you can get us on 01304 225737. So thank you for all that you're doing. If you'd like any more information about the things that I've spoken about today, then please don't hesitate to get in touch. See you soon.